Hey what's up guys welcome back this is Dinesh here and in this video we'll finish the login application using intents and bundle. In the previous video we had this layout and whenever the user typed the right name and the right phone number the application switched from activity A to activity B. In this video the user will type the name and the phone number but this time after the activity switches from A to B the username and the phone number will also be displayed in activity B. Okay. Before we start writing the code, let me explain you how a data is passed using a bundle. Now, if you want to send a parcel from place A to place B, then the first thing you need is the parcel. Now suppose this is the parcel that you want to courier. Then first you will go to a courier company. The courier company will put your parcel inside a box and outside the box the destination address will be there next the box will be put in a van and the van will go to place B now after the van reaches place B someone from the courier company will remove the box from the van have a look at the parcel and he will deliver the parcel to the proper address now let us relate bundles and intents to this example since we want activity A to pass a string data to activity B, then these two people represent your activity. The parcel represents the string. Now to put the parcel inside the box, that is to store the string, we use a put string method. And on top of this method, we have already written an address. Now this address is called as a key and the parcel which is inside the box is called as value thus creating a key and value pair most important this box that you see is a bundle so a bundle is basically like a box in which you store data next we use a put extra method to store the box inside the van and this one that you see is an intent which will help you to courier the box from place A to place B that is from activity A to activity B once the courier reaches its destination we will use get intent dot get extras command to fetch the bundle out of the van and last by using the key name we will display the string value in our activity B now we will basically use two text views for displaying these two values once the string of data has reached to activity B. So guys, after understanding this working, let's start with the programming. In the activity A.java, I'll first declare the bundle below the intent. So I'll write down bundle. I'll give this a variable name of small bundle equal to new bundle. Now, after declaring the bundle, we will put the string value inside this bundle and assign a key to it. Since I want to pass the value from st name and st phone number, we will use the put string method two times. So first I'll write bundle dot put string. And as you can see, the put string method basically accepts two string values. So I'll select this one. Okay. I'll put a comma over here. And after the comma, I'll write down this value that is st name. And for the st name value, I'll give a key of uname. Okay, so this st name variable is now a value, and this value can be accessed in activity b.java by using this key uname. So, guys, basically on this line, I'm storing the string value inside a bundle and associating a key to it called as uname. Okay, so next what I'll do is I will store the string value of st phone number and assign a key to it. So I'll write down bundle dot put string. Okay, after the comma, I'll write down the value that is st phone number. And before the comma, I'll give this a key of uno. Now on the next line, I'll write in that is a variable name for my intent dot put extras so i'll be using the put extras method and as you can see the put extras method accepts a bundle value so i'll select the put extras and inside the put extras i will write down the bundle variable name and put a semicolon 
So basically on this line, I'm associating the bundle to the intent. So guys, I've finished the code on my activity a.java file and I've basically stored the string value inside a bundle and I've transferred it to activity b. Now in activity b, I will write the code for fetching the string values. So guys, as you can see, in activity b.xml, I have two text views. So the first thing that I'll do is I'll first declare the text views. I'll give them a variable name of text1, comma text2. I'll then initialize them. So for the text1, the ID is text view, and for the text2, the ID is text view2. Next, I'll declare a bundle in activity b. Okay, so I'll type down bundle space bundle now this bundle is a part of activity b and since we want to fetch the string data from the bundle i'll set this equal to get intent dot get extras now after fetching the data from the bundle since that data is in the form of a string so i'll basically declare a string over here so i'll write down string and since i want to fetch two datas so i'll write string data one below this data 2 okay now I'll set the data 1 equal to bundle dot now since I want to get the string I'll use the get string method and inside the get string method I need to put the key from which the data will be fetched so I'll select this one and first I'll fetch the data from the key you name over here I'll write down bundle dot same get string and I'll fetch the data that is stored in uno key and store inside the variable data too. Next I'll use the text views to display the value. So I will write txt1 dot set text and inside this I'll put the value data1 text2 dot set text data2. So guys that basically finishes the code. Next, I'll click on the play button and we'll check the output. So guys, as you can see, my application is loaded over here. So first I'll type the name. Next, I'll type the phone number. And this time, if I click on login, you can see over here, my application has moved from activity A to activity B. Okay, with the name Dinesh and the phone number that is nine to zero. And as you all know, the application will only move to the next activity only if the name and phone number matches. So I'll do one thing. I'll go back and and just type a wrong phone number. That is, I've just removed the zero. And this time, if I click on login, you can see it's saying wrong name and phone number entered. So guys, that basically finishes the application. I hope from this application, you would have understood the concept of how a login page works. So guys, that's it from this video. If you found this video helpful, please like and share this video and subscribe to Engineer's Dream for more videos like this. Thank you guys and I'll catch you in the next video.